New York Hypercar, the longest and most iconic race in the game. I guess if you don't count the new race creator races, which I'm not really counting, right? I mean like official race, you know? Known for its insane shortcuts, insanely intense leaderboards, and insanely successful videos related to it for some reason. I thought it was time. I think it's the age of finally doing what I never did in New York. So this three-part series, the New York Times. No, but like you know what I meant, right? Like, it, uh, what do you what do you mean they'd still be mad? But it, like, it's not, it's not. But look, but you know it. But I showed my watch, so it shows that it doesn't mean. Ah, uh, whatever. The New York Run. We begin by checking out the most iconic race in the game for the first time since I stopped playing The Crew 2 all that time ago. Episode 2 will take me and one of the sweatiest New York players I know, former New York world record holder Rhino, and he's going to show me all the shortcuts that I'm doing wrong, that I need to do right, and that I can do better. Explain to me, how is it exactly you play New York? Wow. Unexplainable, honestly. In episode three, I'm gonna shoot for the top of the New York leaderboards and solidify myself as one of the greatest New York players alive. Head down there and subscribe, not only to catch the other episodes of the New York run, but also because we are barreling to 100,000 subscribers so we can speed run not only New York, but getting the play button right there. So finally, let's pick our cars. Well, one car, it's New York, and I, I don't really know what to use. I mean, there is some cars that I guess came out, they were really, really good, but I don't think I ever ended up using them. The Gordon Murray. Okay, no, I, I did indeed use uh, the Gordon Murray in New York. I'm going to use what I actually know before I learn something new. Here it is. Look, if, if I'm not supposed to use this, then it's Mr. Rhino, the New York sweat, who can uh, teach me in episode two. So let's jump into New York. We've got it on max difficulty. I mean, just for the money. Not that New York is good for money grinding, but... If I'm gonna do New York, I might as well make more money. Here we go. Oh, it has been a while. Oh, it feels so new yet so old. Okay. It's the same old game. It's the same old me. Okay. I've got this. I am New York. New York is me. That's my secret, Captain. I've always been New York. Okay. I know to be careful at the end of this. Because I have had way too many... Annoying crashes at the end of that. Oh, the speed. Oh, the speed. You don't feel power like this in Motorfest, I have to say. The way you carry power as well as... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the cars being generally faster. The sense of speed being better. The Nitro Chemist being double the Nitrous Tank. Where in Motorfest, it only does 1.5 of the Nitrous Tank. So, we actually have... More nitrous here. Shortcut one. Here we go. Oh, God. I Do I even remember? Uh, that's a risk. Okay, why'd I do that? Oh, no, I'm completely... Where am I? Oh, that's the worst. I could have done that. Why would? Why did I shoot for the... Oh, why did I shoot for the trees? Oh, no. Okay, now, this area is completely uncharted because it's not actually part of the route until we get fair bit down the line. There is the worst for traffic. And I know there's a shortcut here that Rhino will definitely tell me to do. But screw talking about the future. Let's talk about the present. New York. One of the most iconic races in the Crew franchise. Frankly. Now the Crew 1 was littered with so many different longest events in the game and whatever. Because it had like 4 hour events. It had coast to coast. It had an event that I actually did. Oh god. Which was essentially going to every single landmark in the game, which is a crazy idea for an event. But the Crew 2 wanted to be a bit more, I guess, friendly to the new player. So the Crew 2 ended up giving us just this, giving us New York as the longest event, going from four hours to a 30 minute event. Motor what the hell are you doing? What was that? Why was he just 
<laughs> Why did he block me like that? What was that for? Also, you gotta be careful with that turn. <laughs> that was so bad. Ow. For one. Oh, God. This shortcut. Can I do it right? Do I even remember it? <gasps> I was too shocked that I hit it so perfectly to remember I had to swerve after. <laughs> okay. So like I was saying, Motorfest still hasn't recreated what New York did. Oh, it's this turn that you have to be careful for. I'm glad I remembered. Motorfest still hasn't repeated it. Because the, th th the thing is, I don't know if they'll come close until they have a third island. Now, the th exact things that Maui had, and then they ended up adding, so does Kauai in the top left of Motorfest. So in my head, if they add a third island, oh, come on, and they give us a race from the bottom right to the top left with maybe 10 checkpoints total. That could potentially recreate the, the spark that, ow, was New York. But I don't know if anything could. Because if you are a brand new player to the crew too, one, welcome, subscribe. The guides are there for you. And the videos and the entertainment, it's all there for you. But if you are a brand new player to the crew too, the thing is, ooh, Hey, stop, please. I was supposed to corner cut there. Is that this event is legendary. Up until, like, last month, last month, someone broke the world record to this race. Yes, like one year after this event was completely out of, the, after the Crew 2 was completely done with updates, or half a year, sorry. This race got a new world record, or at least on one console. Do you realize how insane that is? How iconic a race has to be for the second game to be in full, full force and the previous game to get a world record broken? It's insane how iconic this event is. R people build their entire careers. Rhino may be known for one of the best summit guides weekly on Motorfest currently, but he came up on being a New York runner and streamer. This is, this is his bread and butter. So many people's bread and butter. The main thing they do is run this. Sure, there's the summit, which is its own thing. There's regular event leaderboards, which is his own thing. But New York, and this is quite the shortcut. Right, no, too right. Left, where's the road? There it is. We clip the road for a little bit. We stay on it for a little bit. Okay, and break off. Maybe I broke off too early. Yeah, I might have done. Okay, there's a barrier here somewhere that I need to not hit. Oh, I definitely broke off too early. I should have aimed for the road. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. It is so nice being able to use that much NOS again. God damn, the bigger tanks. Just that 0.5 of a tank extra, you can feel. And also get out of my way, man. Get out of my way. This event that you unlock way, way later on in the crew too, it just stuck in the public consciousness so vigorously. It's all oh got just the way that I've been able to do so many videos on New York. It, it, it shows how some of my most viewed videos are about New York. It's crazy how oh, insanely popular this race is. And that's why I'm here on the New York run to go through and get the best I can. This will be the establishing run. This is the run where I first introduce you to New York, the longest event in the game. Then the next we learn, and then the last we conquer. Which, speaking of conquering, it's shortcuts that we need to know. So we're going to do a shortcut up here. However, I know one of the shortcuts, either the one I just did or the one I'm about to do, they aren't actually the best. They, I think one of these two, you can technically, you're supposed to, like, not do them or something. I, I, I don't know. Something about it actually slows you down too much and it's the shortcut after. This is all, every, this is, these are all things Rhinoceros the Raccoon will tell me, so. Okay, and then once we've done that, we got another shortcut here. I will probably have sped up that footage back there because I remembered I'm, I'm supposed to be showing you these shortcuts. This one I hate because there are so many trees to hit, but it's, it's, oh, to be fair, no, I think it is that shortcut that I just took that you're not supposed to take so that you carry way more speed into this shortcut 
so that it's actually worth it because if you don't do that shortcut there's a hard left right ha hard left right angle 90 degree turn and that will slow you down way much more than the grass will now i will say i do i do miss this event i miss how iconic it is and it's a, such a shame that Nothing in Motorfest holds up to it. We have Liberty Territory, but it just, the sweats haven't latched onto it because it's just a race on the roads. The whole thing that makes the New York iconic is, well, the, this aspect of it. The whole shortcutting aspect of it. People love to do, it, it just, it feels like a speed run. It feels like a speed run in itself, right? It's genuinely got that speedrunners type of attachment where people play it over and over again. Some people dedicate themselves to it just to get the best run. That's what it feels like and no race in Motorfest has done that. And I feel like they would really have to try to do it again maybe when there's a third island have like four checkpoints per island on each corner of the island. But even that, that would just make you drive along the coast. So it would probably have to be diagonals. Oh, this is a weird one. Okay. And this is an even weirder one. I just want them to somehow get a New York style race in Motorfest somehow. If we ever got a Sidwage playlist, fellas, the first thing I'll do is I'll go Ivory Tower Sidwage playlist. Okay, please and thank you, Ivory Tower. I would like this playlist to have the longest event in the game. Like, actually. So, yeah. we, won't, we wouldn't get a, play a Sidwage playlist until Ivory Tower sees the demand for it. So, that one's up to you, fellas. But... Let's get back to this. You saw what I just did there. I, t I went completely off-road, and now I'm on a wrong way road. Eventually, I believe it... I guess it doesn't respawn you, does it? But it does go, hey, you're going the wrong way for a while. Uh, essentially, it makes it way harder to navigate this road. There we go. But I knew it disappeared eventually. And good, because this is the more annoying bit of the road. Oh, okay. Oh, God, that was way too close for comfort. Then we jump back on the road here. But I know for a fact there is a way better way I can take all of that. And that's going to have to be on Rhino to show me. This game really is a staple in my memory, right? Like, I remember all these shortcuts from all the smaller races. And I know it's only been six months. <laughs> See? <laughs> Damn it, dumb joke just came into my head. It's not even funny, and like any normal person wouldn't even get it. It's only been six months, and I did play the game for like three years worth of content creation. But the fact that I remember all these shortcuts this vividly, it's it's like riding a bike. It has just come back immediately. I remember this long stretch. I remember that coming up soon is going to be a highway that we jump off of to catch a different checkpoint, etc, etc. Here we go. Here is the next shortcut. You see that really weird and squiggly thing we're supposed to go do there on the right? We're not doing that at all. We are instead gonna go wide and beeline it in and blitz it for the checkpoint. Oh, oh, oh that hurt. Okay. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh, ah, oh, that was terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna need Rhino to tell me where the hell I'm actually specifically supposed to go for that. We got some more shortcuts, though. Oh, I think that was supposed to be one. Okay, that, oof, that, no, no, actually, no. This is one where you do this and do this and then do that. Come on. Okay, this one I hate. You have to really slow down for that turn because if you don't, you will go wide. With the way the physics and the cars work in this game, you will go wide if you don't do that one right. Ah, oh, I thought I could manage to... Oh, God. Oh, ah. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to slide through the trees, but instead I hit every single one on my way down. Okay, little shortcuts, little corner cuts, just saving us the turns, but God, it does slow us down a whole bunch. It slows us down like a solid like 20 miles an hour. If we were playing Forza, we'd be so slowed down at least of 20 centimeters an hour. Oh, great. Right, okay, forgot about this. Wait, hang on. Uh, no, nope, I'm just going to do this. Okay. I know there is a way better way to do that, though. Okay, ow. It was that right angle turn that I wanted to avoid, and I screwed it up anyway. Off we go to Vegas. Now, 
way back when, I remember someone telling me that to know you're on a good New York run is to leave Vegas at 17 minutes. So let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, go, go. What the hell was that? That was terrible. Oh, no. Ow. The cool thing about New York is you can see the game change throughout videos of New York. Like this area here, this bridge on the map there. None of this was here back when New York originally was in the game. These are all things that have been added because something that they've really continued into Motorfest is the idea of updating the game world on updates, on essentially every update in Motorfest now. Just like this area, the abandoned water park, which started abandoned, to be fair. That's another change that happened to the crew to late, late into its existence. And around here, in these turns, is around where one of my more iconic rages at New York happened. This thing goes a lot quicker than that. Fight! I was turning right! I was turning right! At no point did I move my analog stick anywhere other than right. I was turning right. I was turning right! Why did the car start going left? Why did it start going left? In fact, it was, uh, I think it was right here. Um, spawning one of my more iconic, um, uh, quotes while raging. This is a lightning McFucking queen! Okay, and then we wall ride. Oh, I don't know if we should have wall-rid there. Can we corner cut this? I swear we can. <laughs> we cannot. I was so focused on the car, I didn't see the tree. Who am I, George of the Jungle? And we are leaving Vegas at 18 minutes. Is that this bad of a run? It doesn't feel like it. Is this even going to be a sub half an hour run? Oh no. Whoa, 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 Okay. Curb riding is ruining me. I need to stop curb riding. First, the curb yoinks me in, and I and then I get hit by a rock and get boyo yoinked into a goddamn other rock. Terrible. Okay, screw curb riding. I take the full car off road. But then we get back on road with style. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do this. Well, there we go. Lovely. Uh, I think we can cut this, right? Yeah, this is a shortcut. Oh, lovely. Oh, my lord. That was brilliant. And then at the intersection is when you want to cut again. Except this one is not going to go as well as the one we just did. Uh, right of the trees. Good. Oh. Good enough, good enough. We lost all momentum, but at least we made it onto the road. Whoa, okay, now this, you know what? This is the area which I often do unedited just so I can show you the raw sweat. So, let's issue the beginning of the unedited forest. I bet this is the one Logan Paul wishes he went to. Clean. Oh, broke way too early, went way too wide because I realized I broke too early, so instead I broke less. That was stupid. Okay, and clean. Let me actually go into the proper sweat camera here. Let's carry. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Brilliant. Let's get. Oh, lovely. Oh, that was so nice. Okay, we carried a bit too much speed, though. So, we had to overshoot a little bit. I remember this bridge. <laughs> Bet this is the one PewDiePie wishes he went through. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, that was so clean. I could have carried so much more speed into there. I should have been looking at the map. Should have been checking that the, the, the turn of that. Okay, nice. Nice. Very clean. Okay, back to the rest of the race. Unedited time over. Cue the- oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Don't cue the oh god, oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> but that's exactly what got cued. That, my friends, is what you call a complete and utter abysmal failure at taking a shortcut. That's not how you take a shortcut at all. <laughs> oh, well. Now we make our way over to the final history lesson on New York. You may already know it. We are coming to the 82% cut. Well, it was... I guess it was 80... It was 82, and then it was 83, and... Now it's, it may even be close to 84. This is the shortcut people used to take. Well, it would begin with cutting over here. You get all the way up this mound, and then you let rip. Okay, ow. You are supposed to do much better than that. You can actually get a lucky bounce and go over this railing. And you normally would continue out round the left and all the way down the mountain there. Unfortunately now, they patched it. It's the oh, it's one of the only ones they directly patched. They did do some patches where they got rid of some like respawn exploits where you could be at the very top of the, the rocks that you have to jump off of, the canyons, and you could... You know, you, you could just respawn and you'd be on the road. But instead, they patched the shortcut where you go off the road, dive down a mountain, avoid some trees, and jump back onto the road to get the checkpoint. And instead now, chat, we have to do a shortcut where we jump off the road, dive down a mountain, avoid some trees, and then hit some rocks to get back on the road. This is unprecedented. I can't believe we have to do something so insanely different. But to be fair, this shortcut will never... Oh, God. Oh, God. And do not overshoot that because if you don't get the shortcut, if you don't get the checkpoint, you're getting respawned all the way at the top. But that just can never compare to the old 82% cut. Whoa, okay. That was better than I thought it would be. That was way cleaner than I thought it would be. Whoa, there's the dark bridge known so as it glitched and thinks that it has a tunnel on it when it does not but the shadow for the tunnel is still there <laughs> these bridges however are completely fine i think this place is also riddled with shortcuts but i don't bloody know them and i don't want to do them yo simity can go yo do one Ooh, i'm starting to think this might actually be a sub 30 minute run rhino is gonna have very little room to improve if I'm already doing brilliant runs like this, could this even be my best run I've ever done? I don't think so. We had too many dead stops, way too many tree hits, but I think it might even be possible that this is my best run. Oh, come on! This area is also very well known, very iconic. Okay, and a very enjoyable little area to race through, except for the, the hard right turns and stuff like that that you've got to slow down for. But as the last little city we drive through, don't think it's the worst at all, because now we are on the highway, the final highway of New York, after I fail to do a simple shortcut. Holy man. Okay, and we're now on the final highway the end of New York. It's a whole lot of straights, but uh, we're coming up to it. What an iconic race! Man, <laughs> go away! Go away! I genuinely think this might actually be like two, three minutes slower than my best, actually. I'm a better player than you'd think. That slowed us down a lot, but we didn't spin out like off the road. So you know what? We're not. We're not. We're, we're, we're fine. I've, I'm rusty, definitely, given I am so much further away from my best run of New York. Got the traffic as well. It's such a nuisance, man. It's such a nuisance. Oh well, though. And San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, the end of New York hypercar. 28 minutes 13 but the longest event in the game. What are your New York runs? Oh, and I, I've got max money, so I, oh, well, I hit max money at least, but because I have max money, I didn't get to see how much I actually made. I made like 8K from that. When actually, if you take into account my icon points being that much, I would have made about this much. And that was indeed a lot slower than my best. My best is a 26. Damn. I gotta, I gotta get good. I, I've just, I've just gotta get good. I mean, a 26? That's a skill issue on my part. I've got three minutes to chop off to get to right. I'm nearly four. Well, 
We'll see that in the next one. Thank you to popular members, especially thanks to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members. We don't have any. Uh, become a star member. And an insane, insane top of the th top thank you to icon members, HK. I will see you boys in the next one. That's about it from me in a bit.